Entrepreneurship is often celebrated for wealth creation and we're constantly reading about entrepreneurs building innovative new businesses. One of the finest forms of entrepreneurship is when it is directly used to help people who are less fortunate. Today's article features William Adoasi, an entrepreneur who is aiming to fund education in Africa through jewelry, an industry which has historically robbed the continent. Council Estate to Boarding School William's journey began in a council estate in South London as the oldest of seven children in his family. South London was particularly rough when William was growing up but his dad was driven to ensure his children did well. Through lots of tutoring and studying William won a scholarship to attend a prestigious boarding school in the Midlands, very far away from the hustle and bustle of South London. His arrival at boarding school would be the first time he really felt like a minority as one of the only black people in the school. He soon joined the rugby team and whilst boarding schools would normally play against other private schools in one particular game they played a local state school. They lost the match and William recalls one of his teammates shouting at the other school children, council estate scum, without realizing William was from a council estate. This realization that the playing field is far from level set in motion the desire to make a difference and help people. After spending five years in the Midlands William moved back down to London for sixth form and soon after got a place at university. However, he found himself hardly working on his course with all his time consumed by a new business idea. The UK government had recently assigned funding to schools so they could tackle an obesity crisis. William realized he had many friends who were qualified to teach physical education and schools were in need of teachers. He began running workshops in schools, first through his friends and then started recruiting people. The business turned over £160,000 in three years which wasn't bad for someone in their late teens. However, in order to build the business, he had to drop out of university, something he didn't tell his very education-focused parents about until a few months later. One of the most unfortunate things in business is when an external factor impacts your success and after a few years running the workshops the government decided to pull the funding and William's business model was broken. He found himself in a day job working as an insurance broker in the city and then a recruitment consultant. The start of VTI and an encounter with Richard Branson whilst William states the sales skills he picked up in his job are invaluable until today he grew frustrated at work and felt he should be doing something more meaningful. He long held a passion for fashion, particularly jewelry and watches.